This week on The Wire, 10% rises predicted, property sentiment surges, and big four ease lending rules. G'day guys, welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening from the week in finance, real estate, and investment. My name's Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth. I've trained over 18,000 people how to reach their financial goals, whether they be things like home ownership, travel and lifestyle, or early retirement. We do it using only what people have available to them right now, we do it with very high customer satisfaction ratings. Now look, if you're a long time follower, welcome back. We'd love to see you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of these videos. This is the reason why we do them and without you, there'd be no point. And of course, if you're a first time, if it's your first time tuning in, welcome to The Wire. Make sure you click follow or subscribe depending on where you're seeing this on our social media platform so you don't miss out on the videos in the future. Of course, we'd love to see your interaction with these posts, guys. So please like, love, angry, comment, question. Don't forget our Just Ask Tim video series we do every week as well where I could be answering your question live so send those through and that way I can provide you guys with the exact information that you're after all right but let's kick it off uh, let's get straight into the top stories happening this week so 10% price rises predicted so price rises as high as 10% have been predicted for major city markets following a resurgence in sentiment and activity in the wake of a series of positive events so as an example auction clearance rates in both Sydney and Melbourne had another strong showing and recovery and price levels appear to be underway and that's while market activity elsewhere continues to respond positively to the increasing consumer confidence. Now, AMP Chief Economist Shane Oliver says we can expect to see as much as a 10% price rise in house uh, prices as a result. The worst appears to be over for the Sydney and Melbourne property markets after yet another strong weekend of sales. Last weekend, as an example, 78% of Sydney properties sold and 74% of Melbourne properties sold. And this is a causing to the real estate uh, platform domain. Uh, while the final figures will be slightly lower, that puts both markets on course for their best results in two years. That's, uh, that's Shane Oliver. It marks a sixth consecutive weekend that both capitals have trended above the 60% level and the second straight week that Sydney has broken the 70 cent mark according to Domain. Now, moving on to our next story, uh, property sentiment surges. So Australians are feeling more positive about property price growth. This comes from a national survey of first home buyers, owner occupiers, and investors. ME Bank's quarterly property sentiment report for the June quarter shows the number of people expecting house prices to increase has risen across the country, with 38% expecting house prices to rise over the next 12 months. Now, just 17% of people now expect property prices to fall in the next 12 months, and this is half of what it was from the last report. So that's surveyed in April. So that's a huge drop. Uh, there continues to be large numbers of people who are uncertain which way prices will go. The survey showed that while overall sentiment was improving in Australia, uh, some states were still holding negative outlooks when it comes to property values, uh, which reflects the reality that there are different market scenarios occurring in different parts of the nation. Now I know obviously a large part of our audience is from Perth. Perth actually recorded the second highest confidence in the property market out of the entire country. So um, fantastic news for Perth and we continue to see the results, uh, the results trickle through there, indicating uh, the recovery is on. Um, uh, ME Group Executive Customer Banking uh, Craig Ralston says the improved sentiment from buyers is unsurprising given the recent, recent interest rate reductions, relaxation of lenders criteria for mortgages and the certainty over negative gearing options since the federal election. Well, moving on to our third story for the week, Big Four eases lending rules. So NAB is the last of the big four banks to lower its interest rate floor in response to the banking regulator APRA relaxing its guidelines for loan serviceability. This will make it easier for consumers to borrow to buy real estate and will allow many applicants to borrow more. NAB has lowered its interest rate floor from 5.5% and increased its interest rate buffer to 2.5% effective for all new home loan customers from the 5th of August. This means it's matched ANZ's uh, floor rate of 5.5% and undercut CBA and Westpac, which both dropped their interest rate floor, uh, floor rates to 5.75%. Now is the right time to change the approach to the how the affordability rate floor is determined. That's given the continuing low interest rate environment. And that comes from NAB's Chief Customer Officer of Consumer Banking, Mike Baird. The Commonwealth Bank uh, has relaxed its mortgage lending rules starting on July 22. CBA, the country's biggest lender, says it will introduce a new 5.75% floor rate and a 2.5% interest rate buffer in line with the APRA instructions, and CBA rates are currently at 7.25% and 2.25%. Uh 
percent respectively. So continuing seeing some great news and continuing seeing changes in the market that's uh, that's going to spur uh, us into the next section of our growth cycle, guys. But that pretty much covers it all for the week in real estate this week. Uh, like I said, guys, we love to see your interaction with these posts. So please comment, question, like, love, angry. Please also share it with the, your friends and family. They want to get the benefit of this valuable information as well. And I'll be coming at you uh, on Tuesday with our next Just Ask Tim video series. I'll stick a link in uh, the video below so that if you want to get your questions asked, you can uh, send that through. And I'll be sure to get back to and many answer as many questions live as I possibly can. Thanks, guys. Have a great week, and we look forward to speaking to you soon. See ya.